Hey guys, let me show you how you can validate your responses in Google Form. Validation is kind of checking the data before it's sent to you. So it will not mess up on your side. Simply the user that tried to fill the form with wrong format will be blocked and warned. Please fix it before you can submit. So that's super handy because we are not messing up our data. This will apply to a certain type of questions. So we need short or long answer because in this case, user can type whatever they want to type. So if you're asking for a number, for example, or age or height, and user just type yes, green, blue, <laughs> this completely mess up your data on your end, but we can prevent that. So if you got open question like that, when you want user to type something in, you can add validation. So simply click those three dots here at the bottom right corner, more options, response validation. And now we can specify what kind of response you will accept. So if your question is about age, you can allow number between and then five and 95 because we are assuming nobody is younger or older than this. And this way, if someone try to play a joke on you and put like 1000 here, this will be blocked. He will get the warning message that it must be number between five and 95. And you are safe because the wrong data, incorrect data, the dirty data didn't land on your spreadsheet. So that's useful. We can make it as a text that contain, for example, at. And this way you will kind of force people to put a correct email format. We can be more specific, late, maximum or minimum characters and regular expressions. So we can match with some expressions that you got in your pattern as well. But for me, the most important is always the one with the numbers when I can limit the numbers here. So we can have a greater, equal to, between, I like to use between and then I kind of assume what will be the base. So for example, if we ask for height, this will be in between. And then you know your age group as well. So usually it's like in between 100 and we got 200 centimeters and that usually work out for a certain group that I want to ask this question to or weight or age. So you can specify the range of the responses. So even it's short answer, user can type anything they are forced into typing numbers in that range. This way you will avoid some silly data going to your spreadsheet at the end of the questionnaire. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. I will see you in the next one.